Hey, this is Brickzar, and we're going to look at a classic Lego set. This is a vintage 1970 remote control Lego set. This set you could build either this car or also a truck, and I do want to build that truck later. Uh, but being that this set came out in 1970, obviously you got this old style car here. And the remote control unit is the battery box. This is the, a blue battery box with on-off switch and the steering wheel. And the steering mechanism works independently of power because it's just a mechanical. Uh, but the there's also conductivity through this wire to this unit to go to the motor that's in there. It's got the old blue motor and I'll show you this car and don't be surprised if some of the pieces fall off. Um, I even got some broken pieces. One of my 1x2's is broken there. I may replace it when I rebuild it into the truck. And I also didn't even bother to clean up the pieces so there's still some dust on them. But this is your sedan, your car. It was very hard to build. It wanted to fall apart as I was building it. It's got headlights there. A lot of the one by ones really just don't stick together good from the age, being 43 years old. And then the wire coming out the back. Does this thing work? Well, let's see. The way it works is you steer it this way and then you do this to power it up. I don't even remember which way is forward and reverse. Okay, it goes pretty fast. So I'm gonna see if I can turn it. Oh, I just rode it, rode over the cord. Hold on a minute. Okay. Oh, it already messed up. All right, the motor's a little old, so it's kind of gets stuck sometimes. back up some get my cord all tangled up so yeah basically I'm turning it on and off with this and you're steering with this Oh no, don't grab off the table. Can't really control the speed unless your batteries die. <laughs> front end's about to fall off. Look at that. Like I said, I lost a one by two somewhere. All right, I put the one by two back on there. I don't know if I lost that before I started the video or after, but um, like I said, this thing falls apart real easy. But uh, not bad. I mean, I'm surprised this thing actually worked after all this time but the steering mechanism works I'm afraid it's going to break the more you use it motor works
There you have it. A remote control car. Whoa. I'm gonna drive it off the table. Here we go. This was advanced technology for Lego back in 1970. The remote control car. The set had 189 pieces and you can also rebuild it into a truck. And since, since it's such a special set, I think I will build the alternate model. Here is the special remote control unit for the remote control car and truck. This is all one piece. It only occurred in this set, number 311, and also the accessory pack, which was just this one piece. So it's a fairly rare piece, and just tested it with the car. It's in good working condition, so I want to rebuild it into the truck now. All right, and here's the second model that you can build. It's this truck. Show you the details of the truck before we operate it. This is the front of it. Uses some macaroni pieces there. It's got the one by five by four doors on the sides. It open. This one's a little tight. So you can put your cargo in there, and then it also opens in the back with the one by. I think it's a one by four by three. I think this one was a little easier to build than the car. And you take those metal pins right there, connectors, and there's the connectors on the back of the steering wheel. And you just attach it like that. Oops, Oops. I have to turn it off first. Alright, so let's see the truck in action. Got locked up again. Get stuck every now and then. Get the motor connected better. Ugh. That connection on the um, remote control unit and the motor sometimes gets. Uh, separated because it's such a weak connection. Did it again. There might be them. Uh oh. So there it is, the remote control unit from 1970. The remote control car and truck set number 311, 189 pieces. Pretty cool. I'm glad it worked after 43 years. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching Brickstar.